um, and injured. And we have a fight through this very gate. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. This dude again. This is the this will be the fourth time I've fought him. He's undead. He keeps coming back. I may have been wrong about you, Knights of Camelot. What a surprise. Oh, we're not weaklings and usurpers anymore? I saw how ferociously you've been pursuing me. Scottish and undead, by the way. I think that maybe you truly want to protect Avalon. Truly. Are you ready to send the dead to rest? I said I might be wrong about you. That doesn't mean that I would be willing to sacrifice Someone my Someone redeemed plan. Gandalf. Hmm. There we go. Gandalf the fly. Alright. We have stopped you twice. It's time to give up. Don't be so daft. I've already told you. That it was about the horn of the Dauntless. Yeah, but you don't have the horn anymore, so what now? I broke it. I had to find another way. Then it struck me that I'd been a fool. I knew the whereabouts of another similar relic. A magical tool to bring back the dead? Obviously. And it is here, in my former fortress. The Bell of Midnight. So obvious. So you still want to bring back the dead. I He can't... What is his big game? Like, what is his big plan? Like, there must be some specific dead he's trying to bring back. Not just all these weak, weak ones. Avalon is ancient. Your pitiful mind can only hark back to your own past. But at the dawn of time, it was home to powerful beings. And there it is. No, all dead. Wait, you're not talking about the dragons, are you? Oh my god, he's gonna pull a Skyrim. Of course I am. Time to bring back those mighty beasts. You can't be serious. The only way to convince you is to defeat you, I see. So be it. Okay. Oh god, there's a totem. The totems summon new undead every turn until it's killed. Oh my god, there's another totem. <laughs> they do have a limit, but it's a it's a big limit. Alright, well we're surrounded, that's great. Um alright. I think I can't fight. Let's see, someone redeemed Dennis. Alright, fine. Dennis plays uh King Arthur's cart. Alright. Uh Merlin, my man. Merlin's main strength is I put all his points into fire magic. When he sets someone on fire, they burn, and they burn for I a take? lot. Wait, she Time is blocked. To feed the ravens. Which one should I take? For my forefathers. So many offerings. Knock him back. Go ahead and put your ice armor up. Alright, Mordred. Let's use Chain Lightning. Actually, wait. He's got three blocks. That's like ages, so I want only weak attacks to hit that. He will burn down. He won't. Um, Can I stun him? 85% resisted. What, does that mean he's stunned for like a 15% of a turn? Let's see if I could help. Let's do Mind Fog on this guy to make him possibly hit his teammate. You must be really desperate. All right, next turn. All right, he, well, that did no damage because of the shield. All right, he burned to, he's crumpled now. Boss summoned us. Oh, there's archers. There's a lot of mucking archers. Could you please be less archers? This is very intimidating. This is a lot. 
Amazing 3D dentist work. Wow, thank you. Yes, going to give the VTubers a run for their money. Ah. What is your command? All right, this guy will burn until till down to down state on the next move. Let's see if I could help. Oh my gosh, I can't pass this up, chat. They're all lined up. They're all lined up. Calling in air support. Give me just a second. Okay. All right, all of those will burn down to downstate. Burbs. Fire and steel. Hmm. None can stand in my way. Can she reach any of the crossbowmen? No, she can't. Every time she she has an artifact where every time she gets a kill, she gets a bit stronger. Oh shoot, that's like a wall there. That's not good. I didn't realize that was gonna be a thing. Ah, uh, crap, okay, come back over here. I, I did, so because of the smoke, I didn't see all these broken, like, I guess these are church pews. I wanted her to run around here, but this is, this is blocked. Couldn't do it. Chain lightning from Mordred. Knockdown. Actually, they've got a narrow ch So that's a choke. That's a choke. And over here's a choke, but they've got arrows. Which one should I take? Okay. Mike, don't you have the firewall thing too, or is it only the dragon? Um... I think I have a scroll of firewall. I don't like just I don't just have that. Okay, I'm speeding up the enemy turn. Uh oh man. So there's a very big red square here, which is basically it's about to get heavily which nuked with something. I'm not sure what. What is your command? I could teleport this guy in here. This is a little risky. We'll try it. Okay. Do you need any wise words? She gets one free attack per turn. We'll use it on this. And we'll get this. And again, every time she gets a kill, her damage is increased. So that is ramping up, which is very nice. Uh, we'll use Thunder. Oh, shoot. Okay, we can move there. I, I just realized, like, wait a minute, the red square of death. We need to get out of the red square of death. Sword or sorcery. <sighs> All right. Most of the stuff in range of Merlin. Uh, the the number on these things' head is how long till they reanimate. Speeding it up. There's the big nuke. Some of them burning. Okay, my turn again. What is your command? Free attack. And let's go over to For the Fae Knights. 
Okay, that totem's gone. No more of that crap. Are any of these going to reanimate in one turn? No, they will not. Is there anything on the field that's going to reanimate in one turn? Not that I see. Alright, she is continuing to kill it. None can stand in my way. Try to knock him down. Did not work. So we're just breaking his shields now. Alright, all his Aegises are gone. What's it gonna be? Alright, step here and da 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 da. Sword or sorcery. Alright, that's all I got. Alright, lightning again, because it keeps breaking his armor. What is your command? So Do I have the dragon? Oh man, the dragon thing would be really good right now. Because some of these are about to get up, which is gonna be a problem. Alright, that is done. Um look over, free attack. Oh my gosh, Boudica. She is working it. Yes, girl. All right, she's not going to be able to re-stealth this turn, but she took care of all of those uh, things about to reanimate. Um, <laughs> Merlin's not having any hit points is still scaring me, but it is what it is. Summon Lost Squire. All right. I can't shield charge because there's like stuff in the way, I guess. What is your command? Wait, what? Oh, she can't do a dagger thrown out. Dang it. Uh, I guess just wait here. We'll have you take care of the totem on the next turn. None can stand in um, You can put your sh ice armor back up. Blast this guy. What do you want from me? Okay, he's burning. We're on this. Uh, someone said, let's see, Tato King. Okay. There we go. Time to feed the ravens. Put the birds attacking him as well. I'm just hoping he doesn't have some kind of ranged attack and just pop Merlin. That's that's the big fear. Prepare to die. There we go. Okay. You have won again. Let's end this once and for all, Sir Tewilin. I see no other choice. You have bested me over and over again. You can't defeat Camelot. You should have realized that a long time ago. Do what you must do. You can't give me true death. But I suppose you have some other ideas. Wait, can I get him as like a playable character? I want you to serve Camelot. If that's a reward or a punishment, I don't know. Me serving Camelot? Are you insane? Probably am, but you have a code of honor and an undead army. We could use your help. It makes sense in a certain twisted kind of way. We will give you this castle as your seat of power. I accept that. I have a feat suspicion. But whoever owns this land now won't rejoice much. We will take care of that. Farewell, Sir Tewelin. Don't make us regret this decision. 
Oh, uh, yellow relic. Those are rare. Uh, well, it's good to know I'm not going to have to fight that guy again. Because that was the... He said two other times. I think that I fought him four times total counting this one. I hope you are happy now. All right, I think that's everything. Okay, finish mission. What game? King Arthur Knight's Tale. Kind of like XCOM, but uh, swords and magic instead of uh, guns and grenades. Steam achievement, just a rotting corpse. Kill Sir Tewelin four times. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, Merlin doing this JoJo pose. Merlin got hit really hard on that one, so he is injured. Sir Yvain has returned. The knight chased the brigands away. Reward him. Let's see. Cathedral. I'd like to get the... I, uh, wow. Yeah, if I just bankrupt myself, I could do that than that. Injury also heals some vitality. Alright, now I need a bit of gold, because I want him back within one mission. So two, I need 234 gold. So I'm going to go to the merchant and find, let's see, show me just swords. Oh, wow. So we're looking for ones that there's pretty much no chance I'm going to use. And I'm just going to sell them for money. Alright, show me heavy armors. enough that that is enough all right cathedral uh treat merlin's lethargy injury okay all right so uh mordred who's our tanky boy has leveled up what do we want um last level we got chain lightning which is pretty cool let's see i can add another target reduce the ap costs more weapon damage Chain Lightning causes shock, but its AP cost is increased. Shock gives them 25% less action points. That's pretty cool, because then it's kind of a CC. That's six. Let's do two AP cheaper, then one AP more, but it's like a CC now. More, less action points means less attacks and less movement. Out. We have a quick visitor. Pause everything. We have a very sleepy looking orange dude. Hey, what's up? Sleepy, sleepy looking orange dude. This is Chip, if any of y'all have not met him. Oh, there's the booty. Oh, you got a scratch. I messed it up. He's like, if you're going to do it wrong, I'll show you how to do it. And flop. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Ah, uh, should be visiting a lot lately. Hmm? I'm not complaining. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, Boudica. She's the one that was, like, throwing knives and taking names. Uh, she has two points to spend. Let's see, Vitality, that's all maxed out. Got most of the stuff we want there. Encouragement, I've literally never used Encouragement. Um, reduce the cost of it. And now it costs one AP and gives everyone... I, I don't know if it gives herself one AP. I'll have to test. 
And let's increase jump tile range. All right, the uh, we finally unlocked her last section. Let's see what we have to look forward to. Jumping attack from two to three range away, leap in, do an attack, and then leap back out. Backstab attacks do a flat additional damage. This would be good, because even throwing knives, if you get it from behind the enemy, will backstab. Uh, immune to opportunity attacks. That would be really good. She could walk right past enemy melee and they don't get free hits. Uh, scout. Master Assassin. Hide AP cost is reduced. Start the turn. Starting the turn hidden grants one AP. Also good with how I play her. Assassination. 20% weapon damage is used. Okay, wow. Yeah, um, this and this and this are all really good. Fairy Knight. Ah, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so we need... Where is Force Bolt? Force Bolt now fires three hits instead of one. So that's more knockbacks. Uh, let's see. Slaying Hex and Blood Hex don't really care. Uh, Lightning Strike's AP cost is reduced by one. Oh, oh, that would be really good. All right, what do we have to look forward to on the fa on the fairy night? Fire blast! Oh my god, the guy gets fire blast. This is what Hector's got. Uh, that's cool. Uh, Force cleave does 100% weapon damage and causes knockback to every unit in a three tile wide area. Melee expertise. While outnumbered, the hero gains one unbreakable armor and five mental and physical resist for each enemy. The amount of unbreakable armor gained increases by one every ten levels. Summoning, spell power, range of skills is increased and the damage increase, dodge, okay. He's got some cool stuff. Usually in most games I don't really like how, you know, spell blades turn out, but this guy's pretty nice. Okay, so... Hey look, it's the tree of birds! How are you today? Hey, bird tree. Alright, Merlin is injured and is resting. So... Let me see here. Uh, let's go. We're gonna bring Ector on the next one. Let's see. 18 to 27. This is 20. And we can keep what we got. All right, we want the stuff that enables crazy burning. It's not gonna be as good when it is on someone that's not Merlin, but we want to enable fire damage. The dots are crazy. So that's plus burning damage and duration. This is plus burning damage. Uh, our boy needs a health potion before we take him out and about. This guy needs a health potion for later. Maybe two. All right. Um, all right, I think we're good to go. So with that, let me look at the map. Is there any events? Sir Ector returned. My knight has chased the highwayman for weeks, only to be fooled and robbed in the end. I just gave him Merlin's gear, and apparently an event just he freaking injured himself. He just sprained his freaking ankle. <sighs> Gain XP and decrease his loyalty. Why are you losing loyalty with me? Because you suck. Oh my god. What is it? What's the debuff? Lethargy. Minus 20% to mental debuff. Okay, that's fine. We can do a mission while he has lethargy. Hold on a sec, chat. This is important. Look at that. Look at that big stretch! As a cat owner, I am required to say big stretch at times like this. I am required to. One sec. One sec. One sec. Okay. You didn't pet the belly. I can barely reach him. I tried. <sighs> New event. Lament of the Dead. The Shrieking Tower. I, wow, I don't have enough gold for this. Okay, hang on. New event. Uh, this was, I don't have the building resources for this. Can I come back to this event later, I wonder? I don't know. Um, all right, let me try to sell a couple things. Merchants. Um, bows? Do I have any spare bows to sell? Let's see, hers is... Wait, what's my... Who has my best one? Is it Yvain? His is 11. 
Might be Sir Bors. This is 14, so 14 is my best one. So anything way below that, there's like no chance. All right, that puts us at 546 gold. Okay, so let me look at this event again. Now I can actually choose. All right, the Shrieking Tower is a sad reminder of a tragic wedding and the vengeful spirits are still begging for justice and revenge in the empty halls. It has been many years since she raiders massacred the festive crowd waiting for the wedding. The locals have since avoided the tower, which could be valuable stronghold for the round table and the surrounding villages could feed my garrison. However, even the most fearless vassal would be reluctant to lay down to sleeping among bloodthirsty spirits. Um, we want old faith bonuses, so banish the spirits with an ancient ritual. Um, which is also going to give us 300 building resources. Will that allow me to do the other event? Oh, sweet. That works out. Um, disrespectful poem. Thanks to a loyal stable boy, I've heard about a mocking poem spreading among the servants. A sarcastic and surprisingly clever poem about a vain knight and his ultimate defeat on the fields of Camelon. Some would say my past deserves this kind of revulsion, but I'm not in a position to tolerate mockery in my own court. Um, <laughs> execute them? Oh my god. Uh, we're going for rightful bonuses, so I'm gonna hit banish. Okay, Gilbert's two question, can I salvage soulbound items? Most of them, yes, but there are some that you cannot. Like the ones from a boost, for example, you can't uh, salvage or sell. All right. Uh, let's see. Put him in there. All right, all right, missions. What is this? Hunt of the Damned. Actually, wait, that's a lower level than that, or higher level than that one. The Protector, Return of the King. After Morgor's unforeseen departure, a new bloodthirsty cult rose among the Picts. These madmen now ravage the countryside, kidnapping people to sacrifice them during their grim rituals. And all our efforts to track them down failed. Now a renegade moon woman revealed the location of their hideout. Renegade moon woman. Let's strike them down before they disappear again. All right, destroy the cults for a high amount of experience. Okay. We can do that. Sometimes the solar knives you can't salvage be thrown in the mystic forest, or even then it might be possible. Never thought about doing that approach. I'll only ask once, Kate Jun. Do you deny conspiring with the Iron Men? Oh, have I been found out? No matter. I will stop this madness, whatever it takes. You talk about madness while betraying your own people to those who would hunt us down like wild beasts and kill us all. You are the mad one, woman. When did the Picts become cowards, begging the Formorians to save them from the glorious carnage of battle? Do you fear death, weakling? <sighs> Soon you will be begging for it. Big words. Your tribesmen are not here to save you this time. Hi. And it's not the blood crows who will kill you. Those bastards right behind you. They will. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't like the name calling, but hi, I guess. I serve the Lord. So his burning oh, only does nine to eleven. God. Even with the burning gear on Actor. So many offerings. What is your command? One down. Injured. Fire and steel. For my Camelot. Which one should I take? Okay, they all take dot damage. One more falls. So many offerings. Uh, uh. 